assalamu alaikum dear students i hope you all are fine today we are going to study unit number 8 the old man and the tiger of oxford modern english for class 3 the main characters of the story are a tiger and an old man who was a woodcutter students the tiger was very kind he used to come to the forest where the woodcutter used to cut the woods soon they became very good friends but one day the old man told the tiger that his skin stinks and he got really hurt upon hearing this the story is actually about that we should never say any harsh words to anyone let's have a look at the meanings of the difficult words first the first word we have is bundle a group of things that you tie or wrap together bundle means a group of things that are together the next word we have is fault a failure a failing or weakness in one's character fault means a bad quality or bad part of someone's character or in something matlab galti the next one is graces polite good decent behavior and beauty graces means a polite and pleasant way of behaving matlab haseen andaz the next one is harsh not kind cruel harsh means brutal or unpleasant matlab sakht the next one is heal to become well again heal means to become healthy again matlab phir se sehatmand ho jana the next word is shrug to move your shoulders to show that you do not know or are not sure shrug means to raise and lower your shoulders usually to show that you do not know or care about something matlab kandhe uchkana the last word is spurt to cause a liquid to gush out with force spurt means to you suddenly force a liquid to come out let's start reading our lesson now a poor old man lived with his large family in a small hut in the middle of a forest he was a woodcutter his sons and daughters were very young his wife was busy cooking cleaning washing and looking after the children she could not help him earn money Every day the old man went deep into the forest and chopped wood. He gathered the wood, tied it in a bundle and carried it on his donkey to a nearby village market. He sold the wood and bought food for his family. A hut is a small and a simple house. A woodcutter is a person whose job is to chop down trees and cut wood. Chopped means to cut. Once there was a poor old man He used to live in a hut with his family in the middle of a forest. He was a woodcutter. He used to cut wood from the forest every day, used to tie it in a bundle and carried it on his donkey to a nearby market to sell it and brought food. So, in the beginning of the story, we have learned that one time, a poor man was living with a small family in a small hut in the middle of a forest. He was living in a small hut in the middle of a forest. He was living in a small hut. वो एक लकड़हारा था और वो हर रोज जंगल से लकड़ियां काटता इन्हें बांधता और अपने गधे पर लाद कर करीबी शहर जाकर बेचता था और खाना लेकर आता था वन डे वन द ओल्ड मैन वॉज बिजी एट वर्क ही हर्ड ए लाउड ग्रोल ही पुट डाउन हिज एक्स एंड स्टूड वेरी स्टिल ही वॉज अफ्रेड ऑफ गोस्ट एंड थॉट टू हिम सेल्फ ओ डियर मी इफ दैट इज अ गोस्ट इट मे डू हॉम ही वॉज वेरी फ्राइटन Just then a large tiger came out of the bushes. Growl is a loud sound. Ghost means spirit. Bushes are a group of shrubs. One day when the old man was doing his work he heard a loud sound. He thought that there is some ghost. He was very afraid. Then a large tiger came out of the bushes. Ek din jab wo boodha aadmi apna kaam kar raha tha to usne ek zordar aawaz suni. उसने सोचा कि कोई भूत है वो बहुत डर गया फिर झाड़ियों के पीछे से एक चीता बाहर आया डो नॉट बी फ्राइट एन ओल्ड मैन सिद द टाइगर आई वोंट हार्म यू यू वर्क वेरी हार्ड सेट डाउन एंड रेस्ट फॉर अ वाइल एंड लेट मी डू योर वर्क द ओल्ड मैन वॉज सरप्राइज ही डिड नॉट नो दैट टाइगर खुद टॉक एंड वट्स मोर दिस टाइगर वॉज ऑफरिंग टू हेल्प हिम हो खाइन यू आर दियर टाइगर ही सेड द ओल्ड मैन रेस्टेड एंड द ट्री वाइल द टाइगर वर्क Soon all the wood was cut. The old man and the tiger tied the wood into a bundle and loaded it onto the donkey's back. The old man thanked the tiger and went off to sell the wood. Surprised means any unexpected event. The tiger said to the man not to be afraid from him. He said he won't harm the old man. The 
Old man was very surprised at this. He did not know that tigers can also talk. The tiger was very kind and he offered him help. That day the old man took rest and the tiger cut wood for him. Then they both tied the wood into a bundle and put it on to donkey's back. The old man then thanked the tiger for his help. Sita ne bude admi se kaha ke wo usse na dare. Usne kaha ke wo usse koi nuksan nahi pohunchayega. Bude admi ye sunkar bohut hairan hua. Wo nahi janta tha ki cheeta bhi baat kar sakta hai. Cheeta bohut meherban tha aur usse bude admi ki madad bhi ki. Is din wo admi baitha raha aur iska kaam cheete ne kiya. Bude admi ne iske baad uska shukriya ada kiya. The next day the tiger arrived and helped the old man again. This went on for some weeks. One day after their work was finished, the tiger lay down and rested his head in the old man's lap. The old man stroked the tiger's fine coat. The tiger purred like a cat. He looked up into the old man's eyes and asked, Am I handsome? Oh, yes, indeed, replied the old man. You are very handsome. Stroked means to rub gently. Purred means the low or soft sound. Handsome means graceful or very present. The tiger came again the next day and helped the old man. After this, for some weeks, the tiger used to come every day. One day, the tiger was laying down in the old man's lap. The old man touched his skin gently. Then the tiger asked him, That is he beautiful? The old man answered him that, Yes, indeed, he is very handsome. Chita agle din phir aya aur bude admi ki madad ki. इसके बाद कई हफ्तों तक वो रोज आने लगा एक दिन चीता उस आदमी की गोद में सर रख कर सो रहा था बूढ़े आदमी ने आहिस्ता से उसकी जिल्द पर हाथ फेरा चीते ने उस आदमी से पूछा कि क्या वो खूबसूरत है बूढ़े आदमी ने जवाब दिया कि हाँ वो वाकई बहुत खूबसूरत है एम आई स्ट्रॉन्ग एस द टाइगर येस ऑफकोर्स यू आर एक्सट्रीमली स्ट्रॉन्ग रिप्लाइड द ओल्ड मैन एम आई यंग एंड फुल ऑफ एनर्जी एस द टाइगर येस येस रिप्लाइड द ओल्ड मैन यू सर्टनली आर Ah, sighed the tiger, I have all the graces. You surely do, said the old man, but do you know you have one fault? Your skin stinks. You are certainly very smelly. So if you don't mind, please take your head off my lap. My wife will throw me out if I smell like you. Stink means to have a bad smell. Then the tiger asked the old man that is he strong and young and full of energy. The old man replied that yes indeed you have all these qualities but there is one problem in you you smell very bad he then asked the tiger to get out of his lap as his wife will throw him out if he smell like tiger iske baad cheete ne boodhe aadmi se pucha ki kya wo mazboot aur taaktwar bhi hai boodhe aadmi ne usse jawab diya ki usme ye tamam khubiyan maujood hain lekin ek masla hai ki uske andar se badboo aati hai उसने फिर चीते को कहा कि वो उसकी गोद से उठ जाए वरना अगर उसमें से भी चीते जैसी बदबू आना शुरू हो गई तो उसकी बीवी उसे घर से निकाल देगी द टाइगर इमीडिएटली स्टॉप फरिंग ही गोथ अप एंड ब्रॉड द एक्स कम टेक दिस एक्स माई फ्रेंड स्ट्राइक मी ऑन द बैक सेट द टाइगर ओ नो सेट द ओल्ड मैन आई कॉन्ट पॉसिबली हर्ट यू बट आई विश इट सेट द टाइगर एंड ही बिगेन टू ग्रोल द ओल्ड मैन डिड नॉट नो वट टू डू सो He shrugged his shoulders, lifted the axe, and then brought it down on the tiger's back. A wound about two fingers deep opened near the tiger's back, and the blood spurted out. It made the tiger's coat red and sticky. Immediately means without any delay. The tiger then got up and brought the old man's axe. He asked the old man to strike on his back with the axe. The old man replied that he can't hurt him, but the tiger wished him to do so. So he lifted the axe and made a cut on tiger's back. The blood started to came out from his back and his coat became red. Iske baad cheeta utha aur boodhe aadmi ka kulhaada lekar aa gaya. Usne aadmi se kaha ki wo ye kulhaada usse maare. Aadmi ne jawab diya ki wo usse nuksan nahi pahuncha sakta. Lekin cheeta chahta tha ki wo ye kare. Uske baad us aadmi ne cheete ki peeth par ek zakhm lagaya. उसके जख्म से खून बहना शुरू हो गया और उसकी काल सुर हो गई द टाइगर वेंट ऑफ इन टू द फॉरेस्ट एंड द ओल्ड मैन टुक इज वुड टू द मार्केट द नेक्स्ट डे द ओल्ड मैन वेंट अबाउट हिज वर्क द टाइगर केम एंड वॉच हिम फ्रॉम ए डिस्टेंस बट सेड नथिंग द ओल्ड मैन बिगेन टू फील फ्राइट इन टाइम वेंट बाय एंड देन वन डे द टाइगर सडनली स्प्रैंग आउट फ्रॉम बिहाइंड ए बोश टूवर्ड्स द ओल्ड मैन ही सेड लुक एट माई बैक ओल्ड मैन वुट कैन यू सी नाउ The tiger then went into the forest. 
The next day the tiger came again and saw the old man from a distance but said nothing. The old man now became afraid of him. One day when the old man was working in the forest, the tiger appeared from behind a bush towards the old man and asked him to look at his back now. इसके बाद चीता जंगल में चला गया अगले दिन वो फिर आया और दूर से खड़ा बूढ़े आदमी को देखता रहा लेकिन उसे कुछ ना कहा आदमी को अब उससे डर लगने लगा एक दिन जब वो जंगल में अपना काम कर रहा था तो चीता अचानक झाड़ियों में से निकलकर आया और उससे कहा कि अब वो उसकी पीठ को देखे द ओल्ड मैन लुक्ट केयरफुली बट ही कुडन फाइंड द एक्स वूड इट हैज हील्ड ही एक्सक्लेम्ड देर इज नो मार्क देर Yes replied the tiger the wound has healed but your harsh words have stayed in my heart that can never be healed i will always remember what you said about my stinking skin you must now leave the forest or i shall eat you up and with that he gave an enormous roar the old man left the forest and from that day he feared all tigers other men too are now afraid of tigers it is good to remember that knives and axes flash like day Harsh words, however, always stay. Enormous means very large in size. The old man then looked at the tiger's back carefully. There was no mark of the wound of axe on his back. It was completely healed. But the tiger replied to the old man that his wound has healed, but the harsh words which the old man said about his smelly skin will never heal. He then ordered the old man to leave the forest, otherwise he will eat him. The old man then left the forest and feared all the tigers. So, students, the tiger got hurt by the words of the old man about his bad smell. At the end of our lesson, there is a quotation which says, "Knives and axes flash like day; harsh words, however, always stay." This means that the physical wounds may heal with time, but the wounds of the harsh or unkind words never heal. Harsh words always stay in the mind and heart. So students always remember this quote and always try to be kind towards others you should also avoid saying any harsh words to others iske baad boodhe aadmi ne ehtiyat se uske zakhm ko dekha jo ki ab bhar chuka tha uska koi nishan bhi baki na tha cheete ne boodhe aadmi ko jawab diya ki uska ye zakhm to bhar chuka hai lekin uske sakht alfaz jo usne cheete ki badbudar jild ke bare mein kahe the unka zakhm kabhi nahi bhar sakega उसने आदमी को कहा कि वो जंगल छोड़कर चला जाए वरना वो उसे खा जाएगा तो इस कहानी से हमें ये सबक मिलता है कि कभी भी किसी को किसी किस्म के सख्त अल्फाज नहीं कहने चाहिए कभी भी किसी का दिल नहीं दुखाना चाहिए क्योंकि अल्फाज के दिए हुए जख्म कभी नहीं भरते नाउ कम टूवर्ड्स एक्सरसाइज ऑन पेज नंबर सेवेंटी थ्री हेर वी है दिस लाइन टेकन फ्रॉम द स्टोरी ही पुट डाउन हिज एक्स एंड स्टूड वेरी स्टिल The first question we have is who put down the axe matlab kisne kulhada niche rakha As we have read that the story is about the old man and a tiger and the old man was a woodcutter So obviously the axe belongs to the old man so the answer for our first question is the old man put down the axe The second question is where was the person when this happened As the old man used to go to the forest to cut down the woods so the answer for this question is that the person was in the forest The third question is what made him stand still matlab wo hairani se kyon khada ho gaya Jab usne cheete ki zordar awaaz suni to wo hairani se khada ho gaya So the answer for this question is that the growl of the tiger made him stand still The last question is what happened next Iske baad kya hua के बाद झाड़ियों में से एक चीता निकला जिसको देखकर वो बूढ़ा आदमी बहुत डर गया सो द आंसर फॉर आर लास्ट क्वेश्चन इज ए लार्ज टाइगर केम आउट ऑफ द बुशेस एंड टोल्ड द मैन नॉट टू बी फ्राइटन द टाइगर ऑफर टू वर्क वाइल द मैन रेस्टेड क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री इज हु माइट हैव सेट द फॉलोइंग द फर्स्ट वन इज डोंट एस्क मी टू डू सच अ थिंग This might have been said by the old man to the tiger as the tiger asked him to strike him on his back. The second one is I can't help you cut the wood I have too much work to do This might have been said by the old man's wife to the old man as she always stayed in the house and she was always busy cooking cleaning and washing and looking after the children The next one is I'm sorry This might have been said by the old man to the tiger after he cut the tiger with the axe 
द लास्ट वन इज योर वर्ड्स हैव हर्ट मी मोर देन द एक्स वोंट दिस माइट हैव बीन सेड बाय द टाइगर टू द मैन एज द टाइगर गॉट हर्ट बाय द वर्ड्स ऑफ द ओल्ड मैन व्हिच ही सेड अबाउट हिज थिंकिंग स्किन नाउ कम टुवर्ड्स पेज नंबर 74 पार्ट बी वर्किंग विद वर्ड्स द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी हैव इज द वर्ड्स इन द फॉलोइंग सेंटेंसेस आर इन द रॉन्ग ऑर्डर राइट द सेंटेंसेस सो दैट द मीनिंग इज क्लियर The first one is the axe picked up he. So these sentences are in the wrong order. You have to make these sentences in the right order. The first one is the axe picked up he. The right one is he picked up the axe. The second one is stop the purring tiger immediately. The right one is the tiger immediately stopped purring. The third one is remember said what's thinking I will use can my always about. The right sentence is I will always remember what you said about my stinking skin. The last one is the the stroked had tiger's man. The correct one is the man stroked the tiger's head. Question number 2 is what are these words they all end with e double s. The first one is the female of a tiger. The female of a tiger is a tigress. The second one is to try to give the right answer without having real knowledge. To try to give the right answer without having real knowledge is to guess. The third one is a dirty or untidy state of things. A dirty state of things is a mess. The next one is details of where someone lives. The details where someone lives is the address of someone. The last one is a king's daughter. A king's daughter is a princess. Question number 3 is use the underlined phrases in sentences of your own. The first one we have is put away your books now. Here the underlined phrase is put away. Put away ka matlab hota hai dur rakhna. Sentence for put away is put away these clothes. The second one is we are talking about the Himalayas. The underlined phrase here is talking about. Talking about ka matlab hota hai kisi cheez ke bare mein baat karna. sentence for talking about is i am talking about my studies with my friend the next one is don't leave out any words the underlined phrase here is leave out leave out means to not include or mention matlab chhod dena the sentence for leave out is do not leave out the details of this topic the last one is they went to look for the old man the underlined phrase here is look for To look for का मतलब होता है तलाश करना या फिर किसी चीज के लिए देखना The sentence for look for is he is looking for his lost pen. Now come towards part C, learning about language, adverbs and adjectives. Students, adverb is a modifier of a verb, means that it adds something to the meaning of a verb. For example, running fastly. Here, fastly is an adverb. and adverbs usually end with ly and adjective is equality of a noun for example beautiful flower here the word beautiful is quality of flower so beautiful here is adjective we usually make adverbs from adjectives by adding ly agar humne kisi adjective se adverb banana ho to hum uske aakhir mein ly lagate hain For example, slow, slowly, quick, quickly. But if an adjective ends in y, change the y to i and then add ly. For example, sleepy, sleepily, angry, angrily. Question number one we have is change these adjectives into adverbs and then use them in sentences of your own. Now you have to change these adjectives into adverbs and then you have to use them in sentences of your own. heavy heavily proud proudly neat neatly sad sadly hungry hungrily busy busily fierce fiercely happy happily i will make some of the sentences for you as an example and will make the rest of them on your own heavily it is raining heavily neatly i am doing my homework neatly happily they greeted me happily The next one is conditional sentences. Conditional sentences are those sentences in which one thing depends on something else. For example, if it rains, the picnic will be cancelled. 
make sentences using the following dash if i had some money i could go to the market if i had some money ki agar mere paas kuch paise hote to main bazaar ja sakta tha the second one is dash because she was ill she did not come to school because she was ill kyunki wo bimar thi isliye wo school nahi aa saki the next one is if they come tomorrow dash if they come tomorrow we will be very happy agar wo kal aayenge to hum bahut khush honge the last one is dash if she wins the cup her parents will be so proud if she wins the cup ki agar wo inam jeet jati hai to uske walidain bahut fakhr mehsoos karenge now come towards page number 48 of your workbook here we have part a happily happy here is a happy boy the boy is smiling happily this number 1 we have is make adverbs from these adjectives in part c which was about adverbs and adjectives we learned about how to make adverbs from adjectives so we have question here make adverbs from these adjectives first one is quite quite quietly the next one is smart smart smartly slow slowly lazy lazily quick quickly shy shyly loud loudly grand grandly careful carefully kind kindly now question number 2 is write sentences of your own use the adverbs you have made now you have to make sentences of your own from the adverbs which we made in this part question number 1 for example if we have the first adverb quietly we will make a sentence like i am sitting quietly quick he is running quickly smartly he solved the quiz smartly lazily she is sleeping lazily now you will make the other sentences on the similar pattern come towards page number 49 part b a name for a thing here is a picture of thing it is a thing to cut with it is a very useful thing do you know what this thing is this thing is called dash here you can see a picture and this picture is the picture of a knife the first question we have is write the names of these things write more than one word for each the first one is a thing for drinking out of matlab jis cheez mein hum pani peete hain a thing for drinking out of is a glass or a mug the second one is a thing for putting money in jis cheez mein hum paise rakhte hain a money box a purse or a wallet the next one is a thing for painting pictures with matlab jis cheez se hum tasveer banate hain a paint brush or a paint the next one is a thing for telling the time jis cheez se hum dekh kar waqt batate hain a clock or a watch the next one is a thing for climbing to high places matlab aisi cheez जो हम किसी ऊंची जगह पर जाने के लिए इस्तेमाल करते हैं ए लेडर और ए स्टेयर द नेक्स्ट वन इज ए थिंग फॉर कीपिंग आर टीथ क्लीन ए थिंग फॉर कीपिंग आर टीथ क्लीन इज टूथ ब्रश द नेक्स्ट वन इज ए थिंग फॉर लुकिंग एट फार ऑब्जेक्ट्स ए थिंग फॉर लुकिंग एट फार ऑब्जेक्ट्स इज टेलीस्कोप लास्ट वन इज ए थिंग फॉर मेजरिंग लेंथ्स ए थिंग फॉर मेजरिंग लेंथ्स इज रूलर और ए टेप मेजर Number 2 is make sentences one has been done for you use the same pattern but with other words for things The first one is if i had a flying carpet i would fly to the moon The second one is if i had a dog i would take it for a walk every day The third one is if i had a crore of rupees i would give a lot to the poor The last one is if i had a garden i would grow some mango trees come towards page number 50 number c describing number 1 talk about the two pictures here you can see two pictures the first one is the picture of a match box and the second one is the picture of a telephone this number 2 is write five sentences about each picture given above here are some questions to help you what is it called what is it used for what is it made of who uses it how is it used where will you find one how much does one cost now you have to write sentences about both pictures means you have to describe them so the first picture is the picture of a matchbox 
This object is called a box of matches. The match box is made of cardboard. It is in the shape of a stiff rectangular sleeve. It holds matches. People use matches to light fires. The box of matches costs 2 or 3 rupees. Now we will write about the second picture. This is called a telephone. A telephone is used by people who are far away from each other but who want to talk to each other. A telephone is made of plastic and metal and usually is in two parts. The telephone is very useful for keeping in touch with others. Many people have telephone at home. Telephones come in all shapes and sizes. Some are very cheap and some are very expensive. With this, our lesson comes to an end. Stay blessed. Allah is.